Hello, my little bandits. Hola, mis bandidas. All right, so I'm re-recording this intro because I have something totally different planned out for the series that I'm doing. Essentially, I purchased two programs, uh, fitness programs by Dani Munoz, this fitness influencer and YouTuber, and I wanted to combine both of them, do them together, and vlog basically my experience so that I could just document on video my transformation which is my personal experience going through her programs and then I realized it was going to be a mistake to try to do both together so I decided to split them and right now I am starting off with the at home um, workout that she has a six week fitness program and essentially it's quarantine style and yeah I did week one so this is what you're about to see right now and kind of what you know my experience was going through it and I'm gonna vlog basically my workouts every day as I'm going through the program and I'm gonna do videos each week and let you guys know what my progress is and you guys will see my starting point and then where I ended up at so even if no one watches this this is mostly for me because I've always been a yo-yo when it comes to my fitness my physique just my diet and I definitely have gotten to the point where I want to be just that much more strict and I really want to follow through so stay tuned and continue watching this let me know if you guys think I should do something different in something that you might be seeing I love um, you know criticism if it's meant to help better myself in any way so if you know what you're talking about feel free to drop it down below in the comment section. I'll definitely take it into consideration and I appreciate your time for watching me. Yes, you can see that. Very inexpensive. So if you guys end up liking it, dannymunozfit.com gets you sell some workout guides. All right, let's download these suckers. Go ahead and take a measurement of my gluteus axis and start from. I'm gonna try to get it right at the roundest point. All right, I think I got it. And I'm exactly 45, 45 inches. All right, so I'm currently at 34. 34 for the innermost part of my tummy. Okay, and there we go. 192, 38.4 body fat. My BMI is 34.1. All right. Here we go, another day, getting some sun and getting a little bit of uh, that cardio up. Just going for my run walk. Let's keep this shit going. Okay, we gotta put some music on. It's way too quiet in here.
right, sunshine's another day, another cardio sesh. So I just drove across the street um, to the mountain and I'm about to run a lap around the whole mountain. Well, I'm gonna walk, run, correction. I'm taking it slow. I can't full on run because I've had um, a lot of problems with my shins. So I am trying to ease into this whole cardio thing because I hate cardio. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And uh, there's a nice breeze out, so it should be pretty cool. A mile point nine roughly and my calves are starting to hurt a little so I'm not feeling much pain in my shins but I'm kind of starting to feel it on my left shin so that's what I'm basically doing right now I'm kind of just going with the flow of how I feel and don't you know try to push myself if I feel like I'm at the point of potentially causing myself more injury. So do it again, like after only doing day one of her workout and then just doing my cardio session today and I'm feeling like this, oh Lord Jesus, it's gonna be a wrap for the rest of the goddamn program for sure. <laughs> oh, I did forget to mention that I did do my cardio earlier today and I just got busy uh, with a bunch of other stuff in the afternoon. So that is why it's <laughs> it's now midnight and I'm about to do the workout. It's cool. I still got to get up in a few hours to uh, log in online and do work. But you know what? It's all Gucci. I need to get the workout in. So yeah, here we go. Hey, all right, so let me pause that. All right, so hey, day three done. Just finished my workout. It's about 10 o'clock right now. My roommate is going to sleep right now. He has to go to work in the morning, so sorry about the bad lighting again, but bitch, can we appreciate the glistening right now? And as always, I'm wearing my sweatband so I can feel the sweat just dripping all over my body. Mm. Anyways, yeah, um, the end of it was pretty tough, honestly. It was hard to get through. It was uh, jump squats and it was 100, just all at once that was brutal i'm not gonna lie i paused a couple times but a few times and i got through it whatever i didn't do any cardio today um just because yesterday i did cardio and um i wasn't supposed to so i was supposed to do it today but i did it yesterday and my calf was hurting by the end of it so i needed to definitely take a break for today i made sure to ice my calf um massage it and I did stretching obviously after I did my run yesterday and then right now before I did my workout so I'm about to stretch again some more right now massage my legs and go take a shower and get ready um, for bed but also have to drink my protein shake right now so I'm gonna do that and yeah that's my dinner actually I haven't had dinner it's 10 o'clock <laughs> go figure um, so yeah, stay tuned and we'll see how tomorrow goes. Okay y'all, so day four, I'm about to go out right now, do my cardio session. The sun is starting to go down, so it's the perfect time. It is almost seven. 
so it's almost seven o'clock here friday and yeah let's head out got my contacts on got my sweat bat on my new running shoes the reebok ones so i'm gonna test the shoes out hopefully my run goes well i don't feel too much pain um we'll see stay tuned Okay, so I just finished with my cardio. My calf was starting to hurt, so the lower part of my calf. Oh, honey, I can't even get over right now my stash. It's not, my cheeks are way too red. I get so blushed, like, so quickly, so easily with anything and everything. So, yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, my calf, my lower calf wasn't having it. It started hurting, so that's why I was like, yeah, okay, I'm not going to keep pushing myself too much, but... I still got a hell of a cardio session in, so I'm proud. It's a progress. Every day is progress, honestly. And my shoes, I honestly do really like these shoes. Um, I definitely <clears throat> felt a difference today in my walk and run. Um, so I, I definitely think these are going to be it. These shoes are definitely going to help me out. So I just need to keep up with the routine. Ice, massage, stretch. Just make sure I'm always doing that before and after and so i'm gonna shut the fuck up now so i can go and do that now and then get ready for my actual day four workout full body workout all right then see y'all in a bit So today was biceps and triceps. Biceps are killing me. My bicep right now is, oh my God. Can you all see these? He's freaking just attacking him. Rude. Anyways, so what was I saying? Um, so I just did biceps and triceps. My biceps are killing me. This bicep right here, just holding the camera up, bitch. Okay, it's it's good. It was a good little workout though. Um, yeah, I liked it. It wasn't it wasn't that bad. It was cute. Um, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. Okay, so I just realized that I still have my makeup on. I forgot to take it off before I ran out the house, but I noticed that it was getting late and I really wanted to get my cardio session in outside before it got pitch black dark. So I'm about to go do that. It's day five. I'm just gonna run my cardio, go back to the house and do the day five of the first week of the um full body program so I'm about to get that done first week of the Dani Munoz at home uh, full body workout program and yeah I've been tracking down on my planner every day what I've consumed what I've eaten and you know how I felt and what workout I did and whatnot just to help myself track everything I love I love planners so I love writing everything down yeah I have my Fitbit and then I have the Fitbit tracker and I try to log stuff there but there's just something about having something physically, you know, written down and on hand. I just love. And then I have my main part of the calendar where I like to put little stickers and whatnot. Anywho, so I made sure to track how I felt every single day during specific workouts. And I did notice my mistakes on the days that I had lower body or just 
the fifth day, which was mostly a plyometric type of uh, full workout, I was very exhausted and it had to do with the fact that I had also done cardio that day. So I'm going to really try to, um, I'm supposed to do three to four days of cardio and about roughly 20 to 30 minutes of it. So I'm going to make sure that I'm doing my cardio on days that I don't have lower body. That way I can kind of spread it out and also maybe that'll also help me with my lower calf and, um, you know, uh, my, my calf injuries that I'd be feeling sometimes because cardio is new to me not let me take that back cardio is something I'm not used to doing so I'm trying to get into the momentum of doing it a little more and I really do want to get better at it so yeah now I know where I should improve on um, for week two and I'm excited because I'm already seeing some light improvements i'm getting better in my cardio like i said and i am definitely not as bloated i feel a little bit lighter i can actually already see it on my face too just a little bit like i can see it i can tell i can tell the difference and again in my tummy as well like i'm starting to notice it's going down just a little bit so yeah week two of six weeks so episode two coming up and hope you guys like it stay tuned